Katie Bell. Yeah. Hey, Katie Bell. Hello. Hey, y'all. So I run a small luxury design firm just outside of Nashville, out of my home. And we've honed some great design processes and are able to just deliver, I think, beautiful projects. And we get great feedback. But one thing we're not good at, to be very candid, is all the gobs and gobs of paperwork. So I've set up client baskets for each project. And then we put all the textiles, all the design samples, drapery hardware samples, everything that we're kind of um, developing in helping us create the, the overall design for the client. But as you see, it is not serving me well. What happens is receipts get in there, invoices get in there. The second issue that we have is after we do an install, we have lots of Oh my gosh, that's so embarrassing. We have so many returns that we need to make. Um, it just gets stacked up in the corner with, and it gets mixed in with my personal things too that I need to return. Such a mess. Okay, and then thirdly, I have this beautiful piece of furniture that I thrifted that I love so much. And it's got two oh. huge drawers that are supposed to be um, for receipts. Unfortunately, it yep. is not serving me well. It gets all okay. clopped in there together. It's overflowing. Um, it's such a mess. So I would love, love, love your ideas. The systems look not so bad. The problem is that you don't have a routine. The baskets aren't so bad. So the problem is that you need to start instituting what I call the 10 minute a day rule. So every night before you go to bed, you need to start by, by looking at your desktop and your calendar for 10 minutes. Look at your desk and start looking at what you need to do to set up for tomorrow. What in that 10 minutes can you do to clear the desktop, to quickly go through the baskets and to, to look at what are the priorities for the next day? The baskets are okay, but you may need to get some bigger baskets for tear sheets and for interesting items, okay. creative items that you find and throw them all into that one basket. Take photos and begin to build either a Pinterest page or build photo files, take photos yeah. and have photo files of bedrooms, bathrooms, living rooms, and just show your clients those photos instead of having all the pieces of paper. Then in terms of, in terms of the returns, you need to get baskets or bins like these. I have some of these myself large bins like this <laughs> you need to put one in the trunk of your car and okay. into these if you have local vendors that you return things to most often if there are two main vendors have one for each vendor or just one in the trunk of your car as soon as you have things that go to those local vendors put them straight in the trunk of your car in these bins mm. that's the new routine so they go straight into these bins. When you go out, go straight to the local vendor and return them. Otherwise, put one of them in the corner of your room and that once a week or once every two weeks, you need to go to those, box them up and ship them back to that vendor. That will clear You're so them right. out. Now, You're so in right. terms of receipts, you need to go old school with this. Now, a lot of people go crazy when I say this. I use old school spikes. These wow. old school spikes, these are worth a buck fifty. When you get, get one of these for each client, when you get a receipt, simply put the receipt onto and that's these. It. Now, I love that. Great, now, the great thing about these is that when you go to enter these, when you take them off, and turn them upside down, they're in date order. It's amazing. That? Okay, so simple, oh so simple. Every day when you come home or that 10 minutes, pull them out of your wallet, pull them out of your purse and simply throw them on the spike. For invoices, three bucks at a, at a local office supply store, invest in one of these, an accordion file, one tab for each client, Throw the invoices in these and at tax time or when you at the end of the month, when you invoice a client, instead of going through the drawer, you simply pull the pull this out and again, go through these and invoice your client through these.